So Anita, how are you doing today? Doing great, how are you? Tell us a little bit about, now you are a photographer as well. Yes, I am. Tell us a little bit about your photography business. Well, about 25 years ago, I decided to open up a photography business and I named it A&B Photo Service, named it after my parents. I okay. uh, worked that business part-time primarily. I, I always worked a full-time job, worked in um, television. I worked as a full-time photographer for a company. Um, and then I started working in public relations, but I always okay. kept that love of photography in the forefront. So any job I interviewed for, I was like, and can we have photography in there too? <laughs> <laughs> so now, how did you make the jump, if you will, from <laughs> photography to a magazine publisher? Well, it was pretty easy. From working as a public relations professional, I learned how to put together brochures and booklets and annual reports. And so I said, a magazine is not too different than an annual report. So I started thinking of how can I help some of my friends who are small business owners who were shutting down their business because they didn't understand the importance of advertising. How could I help them understand that and give them an avenue in a way to do it in, through a magazine that was reaching the audience that they needed to reach? And so there was born Jumping the Broom magazine. Okay, tell us a little bit about uh, the magazine, the concept, and uh, you know, what do you do and uh, how do you right. do it? <laughs> oh, wow. This is a, a full-time venture right here. I thought it was just going to be a little part-time something that I could add on while I was also working my photography business, but it has really taken over my life. It's taken over the photography business and everything. This has grown from a little baby idea to a booming, thriving business. Jumping the Brew Magazine is a magazine about women of all colors. It's about um, um, ideas uh, and giving, giving brides ideas from other cultures and talking about their wedding traditions and saying, you can put that in your wedding. So why don't you try that? Why don't you try something from the Indian um, um, uh, ethnic group and, and put that into your wedding? Why don't you try something from the Latino uh, wedding uh, traditions and put that in your wedding? If you don't know anything about it, you wouldn't know that you could do that sort of thing. You didn't know anything about it. So I, I, I thought it would be really great to, to, to you know, open up people's minds to other ethnic groups and their wedding traditions. And that's what I've really focused on with Jumping the Broom magazine. Now the name Jumping the Broom, that is a African-American uh, tradition. Can you tell us a little bit about it for those yes. that may not know? Well, Jumping the Broom definitely is an African-American tradition. Um, it was something that slaves did to signify jumping into a new life together because they were not allowed to do a, a, an actual church uh, ceremony on the slave plantations. Um, they formed this um, uh, 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 symbolic, you know, gesture, which was jumping the broom. It was something that actually, if you go even further back in history, that the Dutch did. So they probably got that uh, from the Dutch, um, uh, you know, slave owners who said, well, you know, this is what we do when we want to get married. We jump the broom. And, and so African Americans have now kind of owned that uh, little tidbit of information and said, no, that's our thing. That's what we do. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the, uh, some of the cover uh, photographs, some beautiful covers. Uh, tell us a little bit about those. Well, thank you. We have tried to focus on brides of all different shapes and sizes and all different ethnic groups. We've had brides, um, a, a Filipino bride, um, a, a Greek bride. Uh, these girls are from Ethiopia. We've had Ethiopian uh, 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 brides. Um, these young ladies are from South America. One is from Brazil. The other is from Venezuela. Um, and and, and then we we have a Latino bride. So we try to feature brides of all ethnic groups. And we not only try to focus on 
the very slim brides who are size four and five and six, but we try to feature brides who are also up to size 20, 24, 26, 3X, whatever. <laughs> you know, you're beautiful if you're a bride getting ready to get married. So you now, are absolutely uh, you beautiful. You guys have an event coming up. Tell us a little bit about the event. Yes, we have a bridal show that we host once a year. It's the Jumping the Broom Bridal Show. And we invite brides of every ethnic group to come out to this show. We encourage people to come out and and, and learn about other cultures at this show. We'll have, um, as, as we've had every year, um, we've had um, American Indian dancers come out. We've had African American dancers and drummers. We've had, um, this year we're going to have um, uh, a Latino uh, group that will do salsa dancing. Um, we're going to have an African American there who is a renowned saxophonist who will be there performing. Um, this is really going to be a show that you don't want to miss. Okay. Um, so who should uh, think about coming out? Just brides to be? Uh who are you guys reaching out to? You know, we, we, of course, our number one target is brides, but we encourage everyone to come out because our show is just so interesting and it's so much fun. We've had people come out who are like, you know, I've been married for 20 years, but I just heard about your show and I thought this would be really something great to do. So they came out and they said they had the most fun just watching the entertainment, just coming out and learning about other cultures is something that I think intrigues people. So I get a lot of people that come out who are not brides to be. Okay. If somebody <laughs> wanted to uh, find out more information or get involved, um, you know, in the show or in the magazine, um, how would they get in contact with you? Definitely go to the website. Go to jumpingthebroomsc.com. Okay, is that phone number? And the phone number you can call is 803-238. 4749. Again, that's 238 4749. All right, Nita, thank you for sitting down with us today. Thank you very much.